You may not have heard of the Niagara Sustainability Initiative, but they're a nonprofit organization that promotes greening of local organizations in the Niagara region. Tonight, the NSI is holding an open house style event titled Get to Know NSI Pop Up Pub. Okay, so Niagara Sustainability Initiative is a small nonprofit. Um, we've been around since 2010. Um, we're largely run by students, so we uh, have three full time staff members, but we have about 60 volunteers, and most of them come from Brock or Niagara College or are professionals from the Niagara community. Um, what we do is we try to um, promote environmental sustainability through carbon monitoring through our, our main program, which is called the Carbon Project. Um, we go into organizations and help them assess their uh, sustainability needs. So they, we assess their uh, energy usages. We um, look at their waste, their transportation, and we help them understand where they are as an organization, how to improve upon it through uh, small and tangible steps. Tonight we're having our annual Get to Know NSI event. Um, what this is, is an opportunity for people from the Niagara community to come out uh, to learn about NSI, what we do, um, the volunteers that we have, because uh, we often don't have an opportunity for our members, our community, to meet the volunteers that work with us, uh, to meet staff members, and to just learn more about our organization. What's your goal for like this event? Um, I think mostly to, to have fun, um, to have the opportunity to uh, give the information about what we do as an organization in a, in a really unassuming manner. Um, today we are trying to also place the second goal of uh, promoting local food. So all of the food, the wine and the beer that we're selling today um, just uh, comes from local breweries and local wineries and local food vendors. Um, so we ask them to uh, make sure that they bring food that is uh, specifically sourced from the region um, and to really talk about that and what that means for them as uh, business owners who are also in the food industry. Robert McKenzie, chair of the board, told us how he got involved with NSI. So I, I uh, came on board as a, uh, a board member um, over a year ago, um, but prior to that, Cortec was one of the original uh, corporate members. We joined because we felt that this was the exact direction that the region needed to go and that individuals, companies such as Cortec, uh, needed to have involvement. This is a grassroots type of uh, process that uh, needed to have that kind of uh, uh, structure in place to uh, allow for people to meet and uh, uh, it would be a platform that would not only involve um, levels of government but uh, corporate and, and individuals, uh, people who may not even have businesses who have had uh, interest in, in uh, being part of a sustainable type of, uh, of approach. So this is uh, I think been a catalyst uh, or the result of a catalyst of a number of things that took place. So, Well it's, it's interesting, it, I think everyone's deep in their conscience they realize that this ha is something that you can't you can't turn your head away and ignore, uh, but the, the, the incentive has been looking at the business plan for a lot of these organizations to uh, take away the, the fear, I would call it fear, uh, that um, taking steps towards improving our carbon, uh, re reducing our carbon content, means that we're going to be paying more for that effort. And um, I think collectively, uh, anyone who's been involved with it has seen um, uh, testimonials or have seen uh, examples where we're saving on the company's bottom line or the organization's bottom line uh, and that to me is sending the right message. It's not just for the, uh, the, uh, the sake of our, of our environment but it can be also a wise business decision. Uh, we have uh, three events coming up this month. So we have on November 23rd, uh, we're participating in a science cafe for local food again. Um, it's sort of a theme for the month of November that uh, we've been working with a couple organizations in the region. Um, on the 24th and 25th, we're showing This Changes Everything, which is a documentary about climate change. Um, and one showing will be at Station One Cafe in Grimsby um, on the 24th of November, and one will be on the 25th at Mate again. We hope people will come out to all of those events because they're, they're geared towards the general public as well as our members. For more information on NSI and their upcoming events, visit their website. In Jordan, reporting for The Source, I'm Miriam Valdez-Carletti.